I have to warn you that today's stories are beautiful, but will probably also make you sad. Let's have a look at the tiny girl who fought progeria with a smile. This is what happened. The miracle of bringing a child into the world is truly one of nature's wonders. However, becoming a mother is not all sunshine and roses. Unfortunately, sometimes mothers-to-be are confronted with things no woman would want to go through. Michelle was pregnant and all was going quite well. Weeks went by and her belly started to show. She was happy, but when she got to 20 weeks, something concerning happened. During a checkup, the doctor discovered through an ultrasound that her baby was different. The belly looked smaller than it usually should and the heart was too big. The doctor advised Michelle to check into the hospital. He wanted to perform an amniocentesis. With this test, it would be possible to diagnose certain genetic conditions such as Down syndrome. However, Michelle refused to go through with it. Little did she know that this was the beginning of a very difficult and very emotional journey. A few more weeks went by, and when she reached week 28 of her pregnancy, another setback happened. The doctor did an ultrasound, and sadly, he discovered that the baby was not showing signs of growth. During the examination, the fragile baby's heart even stopped beating for a few seconds, but luckily it started again. Michelle was relieved to hear the sound coming from the machine. Given the intense moment, I can only imagine that the baby's heartbeat must have sounded like the most beautiful sound in the world. However, the happy moment was short-lived. The alarming observation was enough for the doctor to have Michelle hospitalized. The baby would have to be delivered through an emergency C-section. This wasn't happening. She was just at 28 weeks and still had a long way to go before she even reached the end of her pregnancy. Naturally, the expecting mom was anxious and worried sick for her baby's health. An emergency cesarean delivery this early in her pregnancy was not what Michelle had hoped for. But she had no choice, and there was no other way. So, on November 14th, 2019, this tiny baby girl saw the world for the first time. Because she was prematurely born, she weighed just about 2.6 pounds and was just 15 inches long. She was given the name Eline Leone. Eline is a Swedish word that means always light and radiant. Leone is a Latin word that means to bring vitality. The perfect name for this perfect baby. Aline Leone was different looking from the other babies. She was a preemie, so being small was a given. But there was something else about her that would change Michelle's life forever. After a lot of testing, the baby girl was diagnosed with neonatal progeria. Progeria is also known as Hutchinson-Gilford syndrome, which is a progressive genetic disorder that causes children to age at an abnormal speed during the first two years of life. In general, children who are born with this disease appear normal at birth. Progeria is an extremely rare disease that affects about 250 children worldwide. This reminds me of a very unique case of progeria. A South African girl was normal looking at birth, but her appearance significantly changed because of progeria as she got older. Her name was Antla Metzi Falazzi. Like Eline, she had no choice but to grow old very fast. But despite her very rare condition, Antla Metzi was high spirited and full of life. She called herself a first lady because she was the first black girl to have this genetic disorder. But her rare condition did not stop Aunt Lametzi from living her life the way she wanted to. She had a normal upbringing and did most of the things kids her age do. She went to school, did homework, read books, and enjoyed watching TV. Playing outside was challenging though because it would just be too tiring for her. At school, she wore a hat because she was a bit self-conscious about her bald head one of the symptoms of this strange disease. Some kids did tease her because of it. But even though she looked different and was practically half her classmate's size, Aunt Lametzi had the biggest personality to ward off the bullies. Most kids who have this disease don't make it to their 14th birthday because they don't have a properly developed heart. But against all odds, Aunt Lametzi was able to reach the age of 18. A few years ago, a documentary was made of her life, leading the girl to rise to fame she used this to inspire people to conquer their lives. In the middle of it all, she touched so many people in South Africa. As she experienced special moments and reached milestones in her life, the country was there to cheer her on. She even ended up celebrating her 18th birthday with the president. The girl truly didn't let her condition limit her in any way. She enjoyed life and never regretted being born the way she was. 
Aunt Lametsi died in April 2017. Her dream was to become a doctor. She said, I would like to be a psychologist so that I can work on the problems of other people and so that they can accept the way that they are because they can see that I accept the way I am. She may not have become the doctor that she wanted, but her message of self-acceptance was most definitely heard and surely inspired millions. Her family, who described Aunt Lametsi as having had a courageous spirit, carries on her legacy, which is not taking life's precious moments for granted. Now, going back to Aline's story, it is also one filled with precious moments. In Aline's case, the progeria was even stranger. Like I mentioned before, the symptoms of progeria usually only show up later in the child's life. But with Aline, the physical traits were immediately noticeable at birth. No mother would ever imagine giving birth to a baby with this saddening condition. Eileen didn't look like a normal healthy and strong baby, but was in fact very weak and had so many health issues. The tiny girl was not able to develop normally. She had problems with her heart muscles and couldn't digest food properly. The doctors did numerous tests and still couldn't explain how this rare genetic disorder had developed in Eileen. It was an extremely rare case. Normal infants are mostly breastfed after birth, but for Eileen, this was unfortunately not an option. She was so tiny and fragile that she had to be fed in a very unusual way. Feeding her was a heart-wrenching challenge. She would get six liquid meals a day every three hours. Every meal was freshly prepared and then given to her through an automated tube. The tube ran through her nose and esophagus to her stomach. She also received a few teaspoons of porridge and drank formula from a bottle. Ever since she was born, tube feeding was the only way she could eat and drink. She simply wasn't strong enough to eat and drink on her own. If it wasn't for this method, Eileen would not be able to take in the nutrients she so desperately needed to survive. Because she was in such a fragile condition, she needed constant monitoring. That's why Eileen spent her first weeks in the hospital. It was a tough time for Michelle and her newborn daughter, but this exceptional mom never gave up hope. She promised Eileen that she would get to see life outside the hospital and that it was a better world. And then it actually happened. After spending exactly 100 days in the hospital, Eileen and her mom were finally allowed to go home on February 21st, 2020. Michelle was excited, but also concerned for her baby. Up until this point, Eileen's life journey had been nothing but struggle after struggle. The doctors were even very skeptical of the baby's survival. They had told the new mom that Eileen might not make it to her first birthday. The journey wasn't easy, but this tiny girl who fought progeria with a smile wasn't about to give up so easily, and her mother wasn't about to either. Michelle knew she had a special baby on her hands, but she also realized that she didn't have much time left with Eileen. She recorded as many moments as she could and decided to share them online. She was trying to make the best of it. Each day, their bond grew stronger and stronger. These pictures of them together only show a glimpse of how this mother and daughter fully enjoyed and loved each other. Michelle recorded Aline from the moment she was born, so she'd have happy memories. She also made sure that this tiny baby was loved and happy every single day. By August 2020, Aline had defied all odds. She was not only close to her first birthday, but she had even grown a little bit. Compared to her birth weight, she was now almost a pound heavier. And guess what? she was still smiling all the time. She truly tried her best to be the nine-month-old baby that she was in her heart, despite her physical condition. She interacted with her mother by reaching out her tiny arms and touching her mom's face. She enjoyed being tickled, but most of all, she never forgot to smile. Looking at these pictures of her, anyone can see that she was indeed a bundle of pure joy. On November 14th, 2020, this special baby showed the world once again that faith, hope, and love can make miracles happen. Aline Leone was blessed to celebrate her first birthday alongside her family. It was a joyous occasion with pink balloons, cake, and a tremendous amount of joy and gratitude from her family. They never thought they would see this day. It was a happy day. On March 7, 2021, Aline said goodbye to the world and became an angel. During her short life, she was very happy and immensely loved. Her beautiful smile will forever be remembered and is a reminder that love still conquers all. I hope you enjoyed these heartwarming stories. Which one made you reach for some tissues? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. 
See you tomorrow for another interesting video.